How's everybody doing? All right, so we're taking a single gang electrical outlet, making it a double. Uh, just some more outlets behind the TV. That way, they don't have to put a power strip. Uh, makes for a cleaner installation, cleaner look, um, and just it's all in all just more professional job for sure. So I'm gonna go through now. I'm not gonna go through mounting the TV on this job. I'll link in the description. You know, fishing wires and mounting TVs. I have videos on those. So look in the description if you want a video on that. I'm not going into it, but it does. You know, you have to make sure that when you're making a bigger outlet, you're going to need to make sure you have enough space with the mount being centered on the wall, all that kind of stuff, if there's a stud to be there. So let's get into it. I will say disclaimer, I am not a licensed electrician, though I do have some sort of common sense. So this is what we're gonna go with. If you have anything you wanna tell me in the comment section, what I did wrong, what I did right, all that good stuff, put it in the comment section. Uh, this is pretty basic. This is about as basic, basic as it gets because there's already electrical ran to it. Um, you just you're just basically making an extra outlet right next to it with a bigger box. I mean this is this is silly, simple, but I have not made a video of this, so let's get to it. Let's go. All right, so let's go through what you're gonna need for this job. Obviously, double game box cover, outlets, tape measure, uh, a flathead, small, so it can fit obviously the uh, the outlet, the screws for the outlet covers, Phillips. Electrical tools is going to be some strippers, so uh, a fat head, just so you can twist those Romex together. You may not need it, but I, that's what I carry. Uh, you're going to need obviously your impact, a uh, flat head uh, with your, you know, if, if you may not need, it just depends on what you guys want to use. But I always carry, I, this is all this goes back into my bag, but you know, this is what I'm going to be using. Torpedo level, diagonal cutters, uh, knife. You're gonna need you're gonna need an electrical tester, um, and I have two of them. This is gonna be an outlet tester as well to make sure my work is good. Also, it's a mapper, so I don't have to go up and down stairs a million times finding the correct outlet. Impact, whatever you have. This is obviously my fuel to M12 surge, my go-to. Something to cut out drywall, drywall knife, or I use the oscillating tool. And depending on the outlet you're cutting out, it might be nailed to a stud. Most likely, it's going to be, but if it's not, um, you can just use a uh, impact, you know, Phillips to get it out. But you're gonna need a hacksaw to cut off that uh, box, those nails, because it's nailed into it. So that is, oh, and you're gonna need obviously a little bit of Romex to make the two outlets. So whether it's 12 gauge or 14 gauge, whatever you're gonna need. So I would have both of it on hand, but you might already know ahead of time. So yeah, this is basically what we're gonna need for this job. Let's get on to it. All right, so single, we wanna make it a double so they can obviously add more, you know, things up here for their TV. TV's gonna go right here. The main thing is, is since it's gonna be a larger TV, we wanna make sure if we go this way with the double, uh, we wanna make sure we have enough space for the actual mount. We might have to go this way, depending on the stud configuration. So first things first is, let's go find the circuit and make sure you turn it off. Try that one all right it's off let's tear it apart and see what we got here all right so the wall plates off double check it make sure we got nothing we've got nothing so two screws off here and then this since this one is a non it's not attached to the any stud there's no nails so you got two screws right here you're gonna take those off before you're gonna take a straight edge and cut here so you don't actually tear off any paint where you're gonna have to repair it so make sure you cut around the edges so it doesn't take any of the paint with it so I'll get that taken care of and then we'll come back. All right, so now we know we've got 14 gauge. I undid these screws, so we're just gonna basically pry this away and pull it out all the way. You got two clips behind here. You'll see after I get it out. I just wanna make sure it's not catching on anything to get this out. Now you're gonna have to unscrew your, um, your Romex from the actual outlet itself and then let it push through the little hole in there. So let's get to it. All right, so. Got your Romex right here. The box came out. We've got no studs on either side, so we can cut e either way we want to. I'm gonna measure the mount itself. Make sure we got enough space. And probably we're gonna go, we'll probably go in, just because um, I got enough space. The mount's gonna be good, as long as I'm gonna measure, you know, measure the center part, and make sure you have enough space on either side with the TV. And then you can make your cut, and we'll show you how to do that. All right, so. I measured center parts right here. It's gonna fit just fine. So 
with your TVs, you want to make sure you have enough space between depending on the mounts because obviously every mount is completely separate. So uh, this is not a TV mounting video, but it, it just dictates where I put the actual uh, double gang outlet here. So I got my little lines here. I'm going to use the oscillating tool, cut it out, put in the box, um, and then wrap, uh, you know, install the Romex. And I will do a little fast forward video of this so you guys can see exactly what, what I do. Oscillating tool makes quick work of this uh, little box cut out right here. And this, this outlet is actually the last one in the line, so there's no additional daisy chained outlet, so it makes it super easy. Here I'm just twisting, pair, twisting the pairs of uh, wires together for the two outlets. All right, so basically making one Romex into two. Simple, they go inside. You guys saw, you just you know, wire nut them together, just like that. And then now obviously you have two different ones on each one and you got two different uh, outlets here. Silver is always gonna be your neutral, which is on the left. And then obviously your copper is gonna be your hot and your ground is gonna be always your green. That's pretty much it. You're gonna follow it and you're gonna put the wire on clockwise or as you are uh, twisting. So if it's twisting to the right, which always is, you're gonna wrap the wire to the right. That way it basically never has a chance to un uh, basically come loose if you're trying to screw it together. So you got both of them here and then you're just gonna screw them on. Obviously this, this, this screw right here goes into this little hole right there and you're gonna make them flush and level them up with your little torpedo level. So let's watch and, let's watch and uh, see how I do this. Be careful not to strip off too much of the uh, sheeting on the Romex. You don't want any additional wires exposed that you have to. Just enough to get around the uh, screw on the outlets. Um, that's basically all you're doing. You're just going the same way you're rotating the screw clockwise, just around the nut. I'm just making both of them using my regular. I would not recommend using impact for the actual outlet screws just because you can over tighten them. All right, there we have it. Wall plate just to make sure everything fits pretty good. There you go. Don't put it on yet because. You're gonna to wanna to turn your breaker back on and test it to make sure everything works correctly because then you're just gonna to to take this back off to figure out why, what, what you messed up. So let's go do that real quick and we'll test it, test the outlet to make sure it's working correctly and we'll put the wall plate back on and we're all done. Power's back on. Perfect. 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 Great. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the light is, there you go. <laughs> so. All good to go. And I don't know about you guys, but I like making my, all my screws go, you know, vertical. So I don't know why, but it's maybe just me. But that's all we got. You guys like and subscribe if you think I've earned it. I appreciate it. See you guys on the next video.